Hello beautiful people. It's so nice to see you guys again. It has been a long time since you guys see new content for me and it's also been a long time since I recorded any content. These last few months I've just been feeling like maybe my time online is coming to an end and you know I don't know if that's for sure but right now I just really don't feel like posting online. But I decided to come back today because I've been wanting to share this paranormal experience I've had with you guys and this happened last week. Short story, simple to the point, but I haven't experienced anything like that in a long time so it really stuck with me. <laughs> so last week I was taking a shower and I have a ledge in my shower where I have my razors and they're usually like side by side like this. But when I was taking a shower, I just happened to look down and I saw one of the razors lifting up on top of the other. And now at first I was like, hmm, no, that can happen because gravity, but no, gravity would make it fall down because the ledge ends here. So if something was going to fall, it would fall like that. It wouldn't be lifted on top of the other. And it was so slow. It was so creepy. It was moving like slow and being lifted on top of the other. And I was like okay <laughs> but i didn't make it a big deal because i've i've experienced this stuff a lot um just paranormal stuff in general a lot so it didn't like freak me out as much as it would have if i'm not used to it but I, it stuck with me it definitely stuck with me so now every time i take a shower i look at those razors and i'm like are they gonna move today are they gonna move today <laughs> uh so that's one paranormal experience i've had and then i've had probably like three or four sleep paralysis experiences in the last couple months, um, back in February, my dog had surgery and it was easier to sleep in the loft than in my room for a whole bunch of reasons, but we decided to sleep in the loft for that time period. And while we were sleeping here, I think good like three times, two or three times, I had sleep paralysis where I was laying down and I saw a dark figure coming towards me and I was trying to scream, trying to scream, trying to muster it up, say it, scream it. And it wouldn't come out and i asked you guys a lot for advice on how to deal with this but when it happens in that moment i'm not thinking about anything it's just fear it's just scream it's just nature instincts that are coming out of me so anytime i experience that during that month period i just try to scream and move my usual you know uh ways to get out of it so that happened and then when i finally went back to sleeping in my room it happened once more same thing something coming towards me like something black just coming towards me and me trying to scream and get away from it and not being able being able to so those things happened and yeah that's pretty much all the paranormal and uh, sleep paralysis i know for a good period of time i didn't have any experiences so it might have been stress because I did just start a new semester recently. So that's probably what caused, you know, the sleep paralysis stuff to happen. I don't know about the paranormal, but I think definitely the sleep paralysis was triggered by stress. Um, other than that, I had a birthday recently. So I am now 25 years old. And as you guys can tell, like I kind of dressed up my usual like fit. I don't know, something about turning 25, it just made me want to dress up more because it does make me feel good but sometimes I'm like too lazy to dress up but recently I've been wearing a lot of rings a lot of earrings a lot of necklaces I've been actually wearing heels and wearing my actual like good clothes and not just like joggers and sweats and baggy t-shirts and stuff so yeah it's been feeling good I mean today I wore my regular outfit but I dressed it up a little bit, but most of the time when I've been going out, I've been actually getting dressed up and it's been great. I think uh, it actually first started on my birthday and since then I've been dressing up and I've actually been taking a lot of pictures. It's not like me, it's just, I don't know, things are changing. And part of that change is me feeling like my time on YouTube is coming to an end. I really just don't feel like putting my business out there. I don't feel like it's necessary. I don't feel like it helps me in any way and yeah so i also sat down with this for a little bit and i was thinking like what else could i post you know i was doing the euphoria videos for a little bit and then it was hard to keep up filming those videos and then still getting all my schoolwork done in the allotted time i have during the day 
So I stopped doing those and then the season ended and then I've been trying to rack my brain for new ideas of what to do with this channel but I just haven't come up with anything and I know that I don't want to talk about myself and what's going on with me. I feel like not only is it really repetitive but it's also demoralizing for me I feel like because I watch my videos back and I'm like not getting creatively inspired and not being motivated so yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen, but I appreciate all you guys who have been here for as long as you have, who like my videos, who leave comments and interact with me and share it if you share my videos. I think it is so cool. I'm still going through comments now about all my paranormal videos and responding to people. So you guys are really into those videos, I know. Um, and if I had more of those stories to tell, I would. But like I said, when it happens, I tell you guys. And if it doesn't, I have nothing to say. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all the support. I hope you guys are doing well, that you're happy, healthy, and thriving, and that life is going well for you. I hope you guys stay safe, and I will see you guys when I see you. Bye-bye.